Hello, just a quick uh, unshaven video to uh, check in with you as we start to wrap the class up. Um, a couple things to think about. Um, number one is, you know, make sure you get organized. Um, take a look at the videos that I've posted up on D2L in that media center. Uh, revisit some of those if you kind of need a refresher before we go into that. A lot of you have been writing, uh, writing, with with some expertise and some competency so I'm, I don't want to mess that up but at the same time those videos are based off of common errors that I've seen from prior students um, the students that seem to watch those seem to do pretty well and, and you should because it's me telling you hey these are the problems that I see this is what I'm looking for as I read your work your final paper should be based off of your, uh, your Supreme Court case I don't think a lot of us caught on to this, but you were supposed to really pick this in week one. You were to do your PowerPoint uh, last week, and then uh, you're supposed to submit your paper in the final week for your final project. Make sure you pay attention to the page requirements. I believe this is the longest paper that you'll do. Um, and make sure that you, and, and I, I address this in my D2L videos, but make sure that you uh, put that critical thinking piece into this that you say, hey, this is what this means. This is why I apply it. This is why the Supreme Court ruled this way. This is what it, this is what it has impacted. This is how it has impacted the country and the world. This is how it impacted me and my neighborhood and my family. Make sure you apply the material. I'm, I'm a big stickler on that. We have a lot of robots out here and a lot of sheep and you're, you're not those people, you're leaders. And leaders have to think independently and they have to think logically and they have to think through the use of data and facts. Um, you know, four fifths of your paper is going to be other people's work, but the last fifth of your paper, or better yet, if you integrate your ideas throughout the paper, but approximately a fifth of your paper is your ideas and your insights, uh, that's awesome. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, I'm a text away this week if you need anything. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I will do. Uh, I will email everybody their tentative final grade uh, before I submit anything. So you will have a chance to say, "Hey, you're missing this," or, "Or you know, you got me as an 80 something on this score, but I was actually a 92, and here's the evidence." Whatever that happens to be, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to make an error and, and give you the wrong score. So I will send you a final email and a little short note that explains where I have you in the grade book. So with that in mind, I'm available uh, pretty much all week in the evening time if you need to give me a call. So don't sit there and, and struggle and twist in the wind if you're not sure exactly what to do or how to handle something. Uh, ask. So, I mean, the ball is entirely in your court between the videos and me offering to speak with you. If you don't do well on this assignment, it means one of several things. You didn't watch the videos, you didn't take advantage of my offer to talk, or you didn't read the directions. So it's it's pretty simple. So the ball is 100% in your court. You've got a blank check. Uh, write the paper that, that, that you want to write and earn the score that you, you, you deserve. Uh, more importantly, demonstrate that you can think critically, uh, that you can think a little outside the box, and that you can apply uh, this data and this research that you're gathering and, uh, and, and make some hay or spaghetti out of it, however you want to look at it. With that in mind, I'm going to cut this off. Uh, I'm going to miss this group. Uh, you've been uh, a fairly quiet and compact group, but at the same time, very impressive. So uh, looking forward to seeing these final projects from you. Uh, try to enjoy your week. I know it's we're almost there. Stay with me. Bye.